hick. And you'll do the same thing for the nose cone. You want to you paint the whole thing red. And that's the easy part. And when you're done, it'll look like this. So now our fins are completely painted red, and we can start pulling off the tape. This is always the fun part. This is where you realize if you, you did a good paint job or not. nice straight edges. A little bit of paint that was sticking to the tape would make a little flex on that, but that will wipe away. ahead and, and let the paint dry a good 24 hours before touching it. Okay, now I'm kind of inspecting it, and right here I've got a little bit of a blemish where the paint kind of went underneath the, the tape. I'll show you a little trick to how, how to get rid of that paint. First, let it dry completely, at least 24 hours. Then take the tip of your hobby knife, and then just use kind of a scraping motion to clean up that excess paint without going into the white paint below it. And if you go too far, then you'll be into the, the gray primer beneath it. If you do go into the gray primer underneath it, what you'll have to do is take a little bit of white paint just on the tip of a very fine paintbrush and just kind of dab it on there. Um, and you want to be able to hide it as much as possible. Uh, but then when you're done, you'll get a nice little rocket like this. Some paint flex on your table to get those off. And the nose cone will fit on the rocket. And this is why we left the nose cone off so that we can separately from the rest of the rocket. Okay, the next step is the decals. Okay, so our, our decals are here, are, are self-adhesive decals, but they do have to be cut out with a hobby knife. So I'm just going to put this on my cutting board. And, and I like a nice cutting board that's these rubber mats. Um, they're, they're called self-healing cutting boards. You don't want to do this on a nice table. Um, so get a cutting mat. Um, then they're, they're worth their weight in gold. And I want to just carefully cut around the perimeter of the decal that I want to put down.
don't want to touch the bottom of the decal without too much, otherwise you get residue, uh, oil residue from your hands on the bottom of the decal. Peel that up, and then find a place on your rocket where it's going to go, and try to hold it by the edges whenever possible. have the middle down and I want to work towards the edges to work out any bubbles. So I'm kind of going back and forth but going around the tube to press down the edges. And you want to do this for all the decals that you put on. So looks pretty good. So now we'll have all the decals on our rocket. I had not done the fins. Our next step is to uh, make the parachute and attach the shock cord so we can finish up our rocket. And uh, we'll open up our parachute bag and inside we're going to have some string and some reinforcement rings. So the first step is to pull everything out, lay your parachute down, um, and you cut it out. Around the, uh, the dotted line here. You can either use a scissors or a hobby knife, uh, but it doesn't matter. So this is how you'd use a scissors. And if you were to use a hobby knife, just hold the, uh, the, the plastic down to the table with your fingers, kind of straddle the knife so that the, the plastic doesn't move around. Just slide your knife across. It's a little bit faster with a knife. Um, that's my preferred method, but a scissors will work just fine. is now cut out and these are the reinforcement rings and these is, this is where the string is going to be tied and we need to strengthen the plastic and that's what these little rings do. They're very tough. So just put those down on the corners. Now we'll need to poke holes through these, and you can use a pencil point. If you're using a hobby knife, what I do is I just put little crosses right in those, the middle of those. Just a little X. And that pokes a hole, and that will allow us to put the string right through the middle of that. The string is one long piece, and we need to cut it into three equal lengths. So what I do is I kind of find the middle, and then grab an end while holding the middle, and use those fingers to hold that end, and then I'll, I'll slide my finger through it, and you can see that end is getting shorter, and just grab it, and pull it tight, and then you can take your scissors and just cut all the ends to an equal length. See right here, the end is longer, so if I cut right across the middle, now they're all at three equal lengths. So now, we'll take our string, and we want to poke it through the middle of that reinforcement, and we want to tie a double knot here. And try to keep the end of the string as short as possible because we don't want to have one string that's shorter than the other two. Okay, 
this. I've got one string attached. Now, the, usually the instructions tell you to go from corner to corner, but for the, if you've got a six-sided parachute, I like to go from one end to the other end. And I'll show you the reason why. you gather up a little bit of plastic, don't worry about that. That's that's going to be fun. That little parachute reinforcement ring, that really, really strengthens the plastic. It's pretty much indestructible. The rest of the parachute's going to break before that corner comes apart. Okay, so now i got two strings attached. And the reason we did one across the middle bring out a parachute where I've got three attached. When we gather up the lines, see how nice and flat all the lines lay. Or if you do from corner to corner, you're going to have one line that's twisted in the middle like that. And that kind of makes it look ugly and then it's easier to tangle. So we're going to want to find the middle. And so we want to get all these corners line together and then this will be the middle of our, our string so I'm just going to set that aside we need wood glue okay, if, before we can attach the parachute we need to attach the shock cord and again we're going to take the uh, shock cord just put it through the loop of the parachute tie it with a double dot Wood glue is to put on that knot to make sure that knot doesn't come apart because this is another critical joint in the rocket. If this, this knot comes apart, the nose cone is going to go one way and the body tube is going to fall down by itself. So uh, I'm going to take a little bit of wood glue, just a drop will do. I just want to put it on that knot and then just rub it in with my fingers. And that's all it takes. And then for the parachute itself, it's also got to go through that loop on the bottom of the shoulder. And this gets a little difficult because it's, that loop is small on this particular nose cone. You want to slide all of those through. Sometimes it helps to wet the ends so they don't come apart on you. through and open them back up. Okay, I'll open back up. I'll take the canopy and go back through, hold that at that center point, pull the strings through, and pull it tight. the parachute is attached to the rocket. Okay, and so now at this point, you're basically, your rocket is done, and you're ready to fly. And for instructions on how to prep the rocket for flight, um, again, I want to point you to that building skill level one rocket CD, uh, because that will show you how to put, how to, how to properly pack the parachute, how to put in wadding, how to put in your engine, the igniter for the engine, and how to set it up on the launch pad and launch it. And so, there you have the basic steps on uh, building a rocket, and not only any rocket, but a really fine looking rocket that uh, is going to be the envy of all your friends. You're going to say, hey, was that rocket made out of plastic? And they're going to say, no, it's made out of balsa wood, and I did it myself. So, good luck, and uh, let us know how you do it. Thank you. Did you find this tutorial useful? Do you think it is something that you could use as a teaching presentation for kids that are just getting involved in rocketry? We would like to offer the presentation you've just seen as a free DVD when you order at least $100 in rocketry supplies from Apogee Components. That's right. We'll give you a DVD with this presentation on it, which we typically sell for over $30, for free. 
just place an order for at least $100 in great rocketry items from Apogee Components and let us know you'd like DVD 101A. If you are ordering online, just add the following comment to your order form, DVD 101A. You can also call us at area code 719-535-9335 to place your order. Just remember to tell our associate that your order is over $100 and you'd like DVD 101A as your free gift.